Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Mercenaries video. This one, we have a very cool build from Master Puppet. This one is all about Hess and Yen. So, two of my favorite units here from the recent drop, and they both are absolute powerhouses in this build. So to open up, we have Elise, Tyrion, and Hadgar. Cool thing about this is both Elise and Khadgar are really big threats and usually the opponent has to focus one of them down which means the other one will be kind of left to do whatever it wants which can be pretty good for us. On top of that both Elise and Tyrion here do give us quite a lot of stat buff increases which helps us close out the game later with S and Yen. Um, then surprisingly uh, we have Anduin here and Anduin's actually been pretty good in this build. It's cool to see him finally find a home again after a very long time. Uh, if the Elise gets left alone, we can combo the Holy Nova with him. Then we also just have his passive, which is going to benefit off of the healing from Gen. And Holy Word Salvation has actually been pretty clutch a few times now because most of our units, except for Elise, are humans. And uh, as we've seen before, damage reduction is very, very powerful. And uh, it's no exception here. And then Tess is kind of our big late game finisher. We end up transforming Princess Power here into what I'm capable of. And the pool of abilities for that is actually really, really good off of all of these, especially because uh, the Golden Monkey abilities actually don't go into the pool, which is good for us because that limits the pool down to a smaller number of abilities. So we have a greater chance of getting the stuff we want. Yeah, really sick comp. Shout out to Master Puppet for figuring it out. I think it's the, the most fun Tess and Gen build I've seen yet. The deck code will be in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. We're going to get into some games with it before we do. If you enjoy this type of content, do remember to like and subscribe. It's a ton to help out the channel and keeps the Mercenaries videos coming. Without further ado, let's get into the games. Getting tired of getting hard countered? Yeah, getting hard countered sucks. Not a fan of when that happens. It is very annoying. Curious how this matchup goes. Oh, nice. Open one, maxed one today. In some progress. All right, so bleed actually isn't that great, right? Definitely buffing our stats. Only one you need is Ysera. Yeah, Ysera is sweet. She's a good one. I guess they're going to go faster, so they won't have all the bleed healed off. So their Boggy dies here because of the bleed, which is pretty nice. They're still pretty quick. So it makes more sense just to do some big damage to the Malfurion here because they're probably going to snipe us with Elise. I guess we're both going in on a monkey plan, and our monkey plan looks better than theirs, I think. The idea. Job done. Possibly buffing stats could have also been good. That might have actually been right, I'm not sure. So 
So. Well, it's a little dangerous. So optimally, I would like to send in Anduin to combo with the monkey. However, Anduin is not going to appreciate this big ass Elise. But they we're actually on track to get a monkey faster than them, so I think we can afford to just test here. Because they've attacked with the Elise at least once. Either once or twice, I can't remember. Oh, let's go, we stole Boggy. That's nice. You love to see that. We're just gonna start beating up on their Elise, I think. Oh, he doesn't give us reduction. You're right, you're right. True. What were the other options? We had a bleed, which obviously isn't good here. I don't remember what the third one was. I'm so used to just auto-assuming Boggy as reduction, honestly. Yeah, they're really trying to kill our Elise here. So this is a little awkward, because, like, we don't have a great thing to do with the monkey, right? They're so fast, though, they can't do anything to kill our monkey, so I'm just going to heal Elise and pop the monkey. I guess they could kill it next turn. So do we wait? We just kill their Nemzi? Maybe we do wait. We don't have a nature ability to combo this, though. Alright, I may have made a mistake here, yeah. Maybe the idea was just send out Anduin anyway, and then hope they ignore it to try and kill Elise. Maybe that would have been better. Well, I think we go for the boggy kill. I'm just gonna let him sit here for now, because we'll get more spell power from the monkey. That is one benefit of Boggy, right? We do get monkey spell power. Oh, we're already at what I'm capable of? Hell yeah. Alright, so this actually worked out really well, because now we can shrink their Elise. There's no shot they have a way of dealing with this. Um, and then we will... What are we most scared of? Probably the mouth? Actually, no, their Elise is really scary. It's fucking gigantic. Yes, this is, uh, Master Puppet's List. That's what we're starting out the night with. So they shouldn't have enough damage here. Ah, oh, they went for the bleed. Interesting. Oh, there's the blizzard. Oh, don't hit our own stuff, please. Don't hit our own stuff now. Alright, cool. Cool. Look at that, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my. Job done. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty strong. It was pretty strong. So we're going to protect our monkey here. Uh, we'll just pop off again. We actually can buff our stats too. This is nuts. Hit there. Hit here, I guess. This is crazy. <laughs> Actually nuts. I think we just found our new uh, YouTube clip for tomorrow. <laughs> I really like Elise in this list. Oh, she's so good. 
Because, like, they have to focus Elise or Khadgar, because they're both such crazy threats. Boom, another one I'm capable of. Oh, the totem takes a lot, but it's fine. AoE, AoE, AoE. Oh, we attack, that's still really good. Uh, that is not as good, <laughs> but it's fine. Alright, that one was a little underwhelming by comparison, but like, we're still really set here. Just kill you, Sarah, instantly. Kill that at four speed. Slap him with the monkey. Hey, what's up, Blue Train? You still dinoing people in uh, in Snap? I saw those screenshots. I was playing a bit before I started upstream. I got a really sick uh, variant that I posted in the Discord. I like a lot. Let's go. Easy win. Alright, so like standard old shadow. Um, how do we do against old shadow? I want to try some Malkazar lists today, too, maybe? I didn't do any brewing off-stream. We might actually do a little bit of a snap after the Merc stuff today. Or during it, depending how long cues are. <laughs> oh! They're the master version. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting that. Not gonna lie, that actually seems pretty fucking great for us. Um... So you, you imagine they're gonna swap oh, only one to two minutes, that's not that bad. Um what do we want here? I guess again it feels kinda bad sending out a red into this. Bring back Leroy, yeah. Miss Leroy. This will do tests, actually. Vanglorious Rebuke is pretty good here. And this will get us Divine Shield if it lives. This is gonna hurt a lot. They might just straight up kill Tess, which would be very not cool. All right, so Divine Shield here is pretty cracked. Because now, they can send in Yasharaj. Well, I guess they can AoE at first. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe we're still going to get screwed by Shadow. We'll see. Their, their units are pretty weak right now, though. They didn't bring out Yasharaj. That seems like a huge mistake to me.
Guess they're trying to heal off the bleeds. So they can heal 18. I guess I should just double target this. I want Vulgen gone. Hey, what's up, Lee? What's up, Bessia? How's everyone doing tonight? I didn't intend to start streaming so late regularly, but it just kind of happened with my sleep schedule, so we're rolling with it. Um, I think it's Gen here. So now that they're slow, we can just root them. Six abilities left. Uh, we need to transform again. Um, let's take a look here. None of these are really great for us. This one might be okay later. I don't know. Uh, we're just going to Curse of Weakness them. And we are going to... I think we start, need to start killing this Kaz. Job done. Hey, what's up, Ogre? Oh, that was Xaxes. That's a bummer. Is that a cat dancing from the Otter's emote? <laughs> If so, it's great. There might be a chance here, actually. Ooh, ooh, that was sick. Dude, that was actually sick. Look at Elise just taking it on the chin. Not giving a fuck about this Yasharaj. Mainly because we killed like the rest of their board, but like, oh, pretty sick. You love to see it. Oh, we can monkey them. Yeah, they're just dead. That's sick. I think they made a huge mistake not sending out Yasharaj earlier. And going for Queen instead. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. But not enough. Bam. Got him. I beat the bot. <laughs> I think that was my 500th win. The blue demon Archimund, I think. But yeah, this is... Th there's a link to the video if you want to take... That's the only one I've done with her so far. But I'm sure we'll try her out more over time. So they switched to the minion comp, which I think we should be okay against.
Yeah, so talked about it a little bit uh, yesterday on stream, but being I I'm kind of in the camp that this should not have root as an upgrade. Uh, I do not think it's a very healthy thing with how often it can be spammed. I wouldn't mind like it being a thing on turn one if the equipment was more of a trade off, but it's kind of just like the best equipment a lot of the time. And on top of that, when you transform him, which is very easy to do, you can basically root every single turn while dealing good AoE damage. And there's just, like, no downside to it. And that's a little... That's a little... Not good. <laughs> However, there's a chance that when we get a silence mechanic, we'll be able to stop him from transforming at all. So maybe then he won't be able to root every turn. Because we know silence is coming. Yeah, the snake comp's really fun. I like that one a lot. But yeah, Kagar is a little, <laughs> a little ridiculous. So since we're getting the root anyway, I think we just use Elise for the heal here, and we're gonna protect Cadgar. Spellbreaker when yeah. Yeah, obviously having to play a silence isn't an optimal solution, right? It just might make it a little better. I would not mind seeing his ability toned down in some way. Maybe putting his Archmage Nova on two cooldown or make, making the discover work differently. I don't know how you do it, but there's got to be a way to, to make it a little less absurd because right now attacking comps are so incredibly punished by Khadgar. Because Khadgar is a little bit like Valera in a way where he can slot into almost everything. He's just like a generically good character. He doesn't do the speed shenanigans like Valera does, but he does something almost equally powerful versus some comps. Yeah, it feels like you're forced to kill Khadgar, right? And that's what's very strong about the comp we're playing, is we open with Elise and Khadgar. And because of that, they often have to hard target one of our characters because they can't hard target both Elise and Khadgar. So if you ignore one, then the other kind of gets out of control. Uh, we got Boggy Blast, Twilight Extinction, Mana Barrier. All right, I mean, I think we're just going to Twilight Extinction with Tess. Then we'll change her to a green next turn or the turn after and then have her explode. Seems good. Yeah, I think, I mean, Elise is kind of a more splashable unit. I'd agree. Like, look at the size of their units, and we do not care because we're not letting them swing at all. A little absurd. It's just a, a little bit absurd. Um, there's not really a point to swinging in with the, the Tyrion, is there? I guess we could weaken this. I don't really care if they deal damage to our Tyrion, because it just gives us another switch in. Yeah, just had Trigor, you have the, uh... The perfect trio, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Our Sinestra's bigger than theirs. Better looking, too. So now we're going to gain a roll advantage, so we're just gonna punch there. Uh, we want to protect the Tess here. And then we're just gonna keep rooting them, because rooting is a very fair thing to do. <laughs> and more, most importantly, our Sinestra has a B. It's true. I 
I loved all the the jokes about the the bee and the memes. Why is she glowing red? Uh, is it because of the extinction? Isn't this normally like the can't be healed thing? That's what it looks like. Oh, they did actually win the tie, so they did get a hidden with their 60 health, their 60 attack thing. Yeah, our Sinestro is better than yours, my friend. <laughs> I can smell fear. Yeah, Nemzi, uh, the damage prevention she can do with Boggy is insane and the fact that it's really hard to deal with boggy like you can't just kill the boggy because another one comes out and her ability being slow is actually a benefit because then the fast stuff goes off and then you sh kills it and then she just gets another one um so that can be definitely problematic i think either they had to make boggy not as easy to come down or give it less damage reduction yeah, I think this should be like four. Seven is insane. Seven is actually insane for damage reduction. All right, we're one off what I'm capable of. Oh, well, why don't we just continue to be Sinestra? That seemed to work pretty well the first time. I like our Sinestra cosplay. Um, honestly, buffing our humans seems pretty decent, although at the same time, um, we could just transform and kill the totem. Nothing's swinging into us. I'm gonna buff the humans, I think. Does damage reduction stack? Like, if you have a Bane Totem next to Boggy with Cho on the field, yes. Damage reduction does stack. We've seen this because you can actually put two Boggies next to each other. And, uh, they will damage reduce each other. Or if you put, like, one between two Boggies, they'll get 14 damage reduction. The Cho ones do stack, so if you have two Boggies protecting each other and a Cho, it... It all stacks. Damage reduction is probably the strongest mechanic in the game by like a significant margin. We've just always been rather limited in the forms of damage reduction available to us, and now we aren't. And as, uh, as we can see, it's clearly very, very powerful. All right, we want to try and make sure this dies, because if the Sinestra dies, this is just easy. I don't think we can lose from here, though. Yeah, so Corrin's ability was pretty strong at launch. But not as strong after that. God, Tess' ability is so crazy, dude. It's so good. Like, holy shit. It's nuts. <laughs> it's actually insane. Also, can we just appreciate how Anduin does work in this comp too? We didn't see him. Yeah, it's better Yogg third skill because uh, it's randomly selecting from the ones that you've cast this game and like you're casting good abilities like we're running all good mercenaries right so i imagine we should just open regularly get our buffs we don't really care if they blow up our board
just Blizzard, right? Yeah, Root, they can't do anything, yeah. No Maestria stuff for them. Bop, bop, bop. Someone do me a favor, if I'm still jamming games, uh, Merc games in like 30 minutes here, uh, remind me about the quests if you can, because I don't want to forget those. And it only take me like, I don't know, like two games or something. I, I might not even finish them all, I just want to finish like the easy ones. Alright, so now we're going to stack twos. Uh, bleed, probably most important here. Then shrinking... Shrinking on this actually probably makes the most sense. Um, we can do it on one of these for damage, but this this prevents a lot of damage if we get this off. Because it's going to prevent one of their... Uh... Um... Yeah, I think it seems reasonable, and we'll just stack the twos more. Oh, we didn't even have anything die. <laughs> kind of nutty. I think I'm just going to protect Kagar. Job done. Oh, don't protect Khadgar? Oh, because they're they're raging. Yep. Sorry, I've been I was a little distracted. I got a I got a message on Discord I was replying to. <laughs> this could be fine though, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm on some copium here. Absolutely incredible. Oh shit, Vol'jin. Fuck. Fuckity fuck fuck. Ho ho ho. I mean, we're always, always doing this, right? Yeah, and Azoth gets two speed. We fucked up, we fucked up. We did fuck up. Oh, and this is gonna repeat too, right? They will kill Tess, I guess. Mm. Oh, if we do it this way, it, it no, it still will. No, it won't actually, if Gen lives. Because every time it triggers, we're going to heal from the Gen. They're just going to explode us though, right? And then we die. Because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything's... Yep, Sir Jack called it. Alright, let's, uh... Let's pay a little bit more attention now. I'm so used to them just always auto-going for it on turn two that I just kind of assumed it happened. Also, somehow we got holy damage. Sure. So weird.
Yeah, I have been conditioned by the bots. Even non-bots, like, they always, like, without fail, the old gods, anytime I run into people playing old gods, I don't think I've ever seen them not go for it on two if they can. Do 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 do. All right. Ew. This is gross. Job done. We do these two because they're probably freezing Elise or, or Kagar. I forgot they have root, ew. It's fine, it's fine. It actually seems kind of okay. Uh, so what's, like, the general first switch in here? Do we go... It's gotta be one of the reds, right? Um... I'm guessing Tess? Can we check Tess's abilities? Oh. Hailstorm... Oh, wait, wait, Hail... oh, but Hailstorm isn't that cracked. Hailstorm, Ice Lance, Snowball. Okay. It's still pretty good. It's probably better than, uh, anything else. Again with those abilities. All right. I can smell fear. Okay. I would just like zap. I think we want to protect the Gen, right? Actually, we could use. Well, they're probably going to kill Tyrion. I imagine they're going to root us, so we want to deal like the 18. Oh, but then if they root us, at least doesn't like do anything with this, right? So we probably do this. Do this and just heal like no shot they don't root us right yeah no way
Yeah, I should have kings. I should have kings. I guess swap's good too, uh, because then we're not taking crit from Kaggar. Um, can't afford to send Anduin into this, right? Like, I mean, I guess he's kind of large, but not while these are out. No way. I'm sure this will take a little getting used to, but we'll get there. Elise is on the way to monkeying them as well. I'm pretty sure we can just do this, do that. Valyra dies to bleed, we'll buff our humans. We got some fat stats here, though. Two speed on Gen. Oh, so they don't get damaged with Belinda? Oh, we have to swap to stay alive. Yeah, you're probably right. I think we could still win this game even if he dies, honestly. But I think it was probably the right play. Because now we monkey Anduin, right? Like, we just monkey Anduin them. This comp is sweet, dude. <laughs> I like this a lot. Good, uh, good stuff putting in the work. I really wanted to test more gun stuff. Oh, and we have Hailstorm too still. That is so funny. Yeah, this is sweet. This is sweet. Like, what did they even do here? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. You must have gone through a bunch of iterations. I never would have thought to, to put Anduin in here. Hey, what's up, Crimson Panda? Good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's that. That's... Oh, wait. Oh, they froze the wrong one, dude. Holy... Well <laughs> Test changed after each hit? That's so funny! <laughs> That's so funny! Well, that was... that was a hell of a way to start it. <laughs> yeah, I never would have thought to throw Anduin in here. This is really cool. Yeah, test became local art. <laughs> How do you beat the overpowered mercenaries? Just become them. Easy. Do do Oh, oh well GG <laughs> GG So this is uh this is Master Puppet's uh even comp with Gen. That was my first game with it. It's pretty sweet. Oh we got a rematch.
Rematch. All right. Buff, buff, punch. Job done. Okay, um... Blizzard... Job done. Yeah, if Tyrion lives, he gets really big. Yeah, like, I see what you're going for here, and it makes a lot of sense. This is a strategy I really liked in Mercenaries, is when you present them with, like, they can't focus all your threats, right? Like, not effectively, anyway. And so something's gonna get out of hand. I think I just want to kill the Cadgar, right? Definitely kill the Cadgar. Oh, it lives at one. That might not be terrible, though, because they lose the Valera speed, right? So now he could, like, snipe it off with Gen. Or he could just snipe it off with their own Khagar. They have, I mean, maybe Anduin's just good here. Start, uh, start healing up. I forgot the, well, she's not a human, but he's a human. Gen for sure. All right. Oh, yeah, because we're healing. Oh, man, I'm so freaking rusty. <laughs> So this is the first time I've played in like at least a week. So I'm I'm I've got some de rusting to do. Oh yeah, this is nuts. This is nuts because we can snipe them. We can snipe here. So before they get to do anything, they can't even speed up, and then might as well just heal. I mean, we could deal damage, at least, like, hits like a truck right now. Heal advances me towards the monkey, too, though, so... Wait. Shouldn't that have crit? Does it change first? Did I fuck something up there? Job done. Oh, I forgot. It's not... Oh, I forgot it's... Holy shit. <laughs> it did crap. I was thinking uh, it was the one that deals damage equal to his attack, but that's, I think, the wolf form one. Again, very rusty. <laughs> I haven't played with Gen in a little bit. Five speeds speed slower. This is a human. You don't want to go back to red. Just want to swing in. Job done. Yeah, Stomp is screwing up our even stuff. Oh, I went for a snap. I think that was ill advised.
So now Anduin seems pretty great, right? Because we can heal. By the light. They don't have speed anymore. We're on the monkey too, right? Yeah. Oh, we can just snipe this, too. So this can't freeze us. Seems good. Seems very good. Yeah, this is really cool. Alright, we lost the lease, but I think we still just win. Uh, they don't have, the, like, the damage to get through all this. Yeah, it's easy to mess up the snap math. I've definitely been there a bunch. Oh, we get what I'm capable of, too. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Just make our boys big. Yeah, the, the snap was uh, pretty important there. GG, though. Tess getting the Cadgar upgrade is so nuts. Also, I didn't realize she changes whenever she's dealing the damage. Maybe that was just a local R thing? No, it, it changes whenever she hits. That's so crazy. I didn't realize that's how it worked. That is so crazy. Do a draft. I promise we're gonna do a draft. Maybe this weekend. Um, I'm actually really, that's probably the thing I'm most excited for in Mercenaries, is doing a Mercs draft. I, I'm actually very excited for doing a draft again. So, all my draft enjoyers, look forward to that. Because I think we'll have a lot of fun. It's honestly the best thing in the game. Community tournaments and the draft are like, nothing else keeps me here, those are keeping me here. Nice, almost fully maxed. Awesome. I think draft is going to be really cool with the new characters. I oh, know we... Yeah, we need to do this one. Job done. Yeah. That's, that's proper order. Yeah, after the coin fix. Oh, that's a good point. I mean, we could just do another one. <laughs> I'm down for, like, multiple drafts. The drafts are also easier for me to put on than, like, the, the big tournaments. They require... I mean, they're still a lot of work, but... They're a little bit easier in some ways. They take longer to edit, but... It's worth it. Because I, I really do love the draft stuff. Big uh, big shout out to Grumpy for really putting that on the, the radar. He's, he's like the main reason we do the drafts. He's, he's still streaming, but he's only, I think he's only streaming on YouTube now. Which, hey, more power to him if it works. I think Khadgar is better to save against the Nagas. Is there only one Death Knight Merc? I think so. Oh, none of the rares left share a bounty. Yeah, that's rough. I would just wait for the fix, honestly. Fuck doing that much 1-1. One, one. Screw 1-1. One, one. Uh, so definitely Gen. Probably Tess, too. Or maybe we save Tess for the end. I love how you can check. So we have Captive Tide... Shifting Tide and Riptides. We have all those. 20 to all enemies is pretty sick.
Grumpy tournament was quite fun. The next tournament we do is going to be, uh, we're not going to do another popper right away. We're going to do like a regular kind of tournament. The idea. But I don't know when that's happening. But when I know, all of you will know shortly afterwards. So stay tuned. Oh, we should transform so we don't get smacked. Yeah, that worked out well. So we can just slap these down. They have monkey on five, so yeah, at least gotta die. Just do this. Job done. This one. Oh, that did hurt. Maybe we should have killed this over Bane. We actually 100% should have killed this over Bane. That was a mistake. Might still be okay, though. Oh, damage reduction, yeah, and then we can snipe, and then we can do this, because otherwise we're going to take a lot. You're right, you're right. Oh, I forgot, Queen comes back. Oh, yikes. Oh, but we still get it off. Look at that! Oh my, dude. Oh my. Oh my! <laughs> Holy shit. Well, good call on the fucking damage reduction, my guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Job done. We're gonna finish him with Princess Power. <laughs> A little, little dubski. <laughs> a, a little dunk. Oof. That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Tess is Yogg's little sister, except better than Yogg and Mercenaries. At least we're doing random cool shit. Oof. All right, so I really love this build. Honestly, my favorite version of the test comp yet. A lot of powerful stuff to it, and it's a little bit budget friendly as we only have one legendary here in Anduin who I would say is probably replaceable if you don't have him. However, I do think he has earned his spot in the comp. So if you do have him, definitely recommend giving him a shot, but you might have some success trying out something else in that flex spot. If you don't have him as all the other ones are mostly epics and one rare. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.